Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dorothea and I'm a crocheter behind Krabby Patterns. In today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet this lovely romper. This romper is now available as a free pattern on my blog Krabby Patterns in a size 0 to 6 months. I will leave the link to the pattern in the description box of this video. As always you can find a beautifully designed PDF pattern available in my pattern shops on Etsy, Reverly and Lovecraft and that pattern will include one additional size so you will get 0 to 6 and 6 to 12 months in the PDF pattern. The pattern itself is pretty easy. I will show you all the steps you have to know to successfully complete the project. The tutorial is divided into 5 parts. Each segment will have a timestamp in the description box below so you will be able to jump between parts you want to watch or learn pretty easily. If you need more information about the pattern or written instructions, please visit my blog Krobi Patterns. You will find everything you need there. With all this said, let's start with what you are going to need for this project. Let's start with the yarn. I will be using 100% cotton yarn from Yarn and Colors called Epic. The yarn is classified as Arand Weight yarn. This one is one of my favorite cotton yarns and I always keep a bunch of skeins in different colors in my yarn stash. Today I'm going to be using the color Old Pink. In every skein is 50 grams and 70 meters of yarn and I will need around 3 skeins of yarn to complete the project. In addition to that, you are going to need 4.5mm crochet hook. I will be using this Clover aluminum crochet hook with a plastic handle, tapestry needle, scissors, stitch markers, which are always optional but super helpful, and of course two buttons, 2cm or 3 quarters of an inch each. We are going to start with the back lower part of the romper. Take the yarn and 4.5mm crochet hook and create a foundation chain made of 35 chains. When you have that, use two stitch markers, place one into the third and the other one into the last chain on your foundation chain. Leave those two in and we will use those two as guides when we start joining the front and back lower part together in a segment called body. I will let you know when you won't need them anymore and will be able to remove them and put them away. But for now, leave them in and use back bumps of your foundation chain as base for your first row. Just a few words about back bumps if you are not familiar with what they are. So the foundation chain has two sides, one side with two loops and the other side with just one loop. And that side with just one loop is called the side with back bumps. I know sometimes crocheting into those back bumps can be a struggle, but believe me, it's worth it. Otherwise, you will end up with a strange line on the back of the romper where the back lower part ends and the body part starts. We are going to start row 1 with double crochet to together stitch, so yarn over first, insert the hook into the third chain from the hook, grab the yarn on the other side and pull the yarn through. You have now 3 loops on your crochet hook, yarn over again and pull the loop through first too. Yarn over again, insert the hook into the next chain. Again, grab it on the other side and pull it through. Yarn over, pull through the first two. You can see you have two stitches on your hook now. Now yarn over one last time and join those two together. I'm going to mark my first stitch of the row and I will continue doing that all the way to the end of the romper. Continue working into back bumps and work one double crochet into each of next 29 stitches.
Finish the row with one last double crochet to together stitch. And at the end of row 1, you should have 31 stitches in total. For row 2, chain 2 first, then join the first 2 stitches together with a double crochet to together stitch. Now work one double crochet stitch into each of the next 27 stitches. Join the last two stitches of the row 2 together with a simple double crochet 2 together stitch. At the end of the row 2 you should have 29 stitches in total. Let's start the row with chain 2. When you have that, turn your work and join the next 3 stitches together with a double crochet 3 together stitch. So yarn over first, insert the hook into the first stitch and then pull the yarn through. You have 3 loops on your crochet hook, yarn over again and pull the yarn through the first 2 loops. Repeat that 2 more times. As you can see now you have all 3 bases for a double crochet stitch all nicely sitting on your crochet hook. All you have to do now is to yarn over one last time and pull the loop through all the loops on your crochet hook to complete the double crochet 3 together stitch. Now continue with the basic double crochet stitches and work one double crochet into each of the next 23 stitches. Join the last 3 stitches of this row with a double crochet 3 together stitch, the same as at the beginning of this row. At the end of row 3 you should have 25 stitches in total, that is 4 stitches less than in row 2. We are now in row 4, chain 2 and then turn your work. Start with double crochet 3 together stitch and join the first 3 stitches of this row together.
Now work one double crochet into each of the next 19 stitches. Join the last three together with a double crochet three together stitch. You should finish the row with 21 stitches in total. Let's continue with row 5, chain 2, then turn your work. Join the first two with a double crochet two together stitch. Now work one double crochet into each of the next 17 stitches. Join the last two stitches with a double crochet two together stitch. And at the end of row 5 you should have 19 stitches. Row 6, chain 2, then turn your work. Join the first two with a double crochet two together stitch. Now work one double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. Join the last two stitches with a double crochet two together stitch. And at the end of row 6 you should have 17 stitches in total. Row 7, chain 2 then turn your work. Join the first two with a double crochet two together stitch. Now work one double crochet into each of the next 13 stitches. Join the last two stitches with a double crochet two together stitch.
and at the end row 7 you should have 15 stitches in total. This is now row 8 and at the same time our very last row on the back lower part of the romper. Start with chain 2 and then turn your work. Join the first two with a double crochet stitch. Now work one double crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. Join the last two stitches with a double crochet to together stitch and at the end of row 8 you should have 13 stitches in total. Do not cut the yarn just yet, continue with the front lower part of the romper. We are going to continue with rows, so this is going to be our row 9. It is super simple to make. First chain 2 and then turn your work, then work one double crochet into each of next 13 stitches. This is now row 10, here we are going to work half double crochet stitches instead of double crochet stitches, chain 1 and turn your work, now work 1 half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. So start with yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch and pull the loop through, yarn over again and pull the loop through all the loops on your crochet hook. And this is how you make half double crochet stitches. Repeat row 10 4 more times. So when you finish your last row of half double crochet stitches you should have 14 rows in total. This is the number you get if you count rows on the back part of your romper and rows on the front part of your romper together. Please count the rows before you continue with your work and make sure you have the correct number. This is now row 15 and this is also the very first row where we are going to create 2 shell stitches. So chain 2 and then turn your work. Once you have that, work 2 double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Now skip 2 stitches and work 2 double crochet stitches one chain and then two double crochet stitches again all into the same stitch.
skip the stitches and create one double crochet into the next one. Skip 2 stitches again and repeat the shell stitch, so 2 double crochet stitches, 1 chain and then 2 double crochet stitches again, all in the same stitch. Only 3 stitches left in this row, so skip 2 stitches and work 2 double crochet stitches into the very last stitch of the row, the same as we did at the beginning of the row. At the end of this row, if you include the chains from the shell stitches, you should have 15 stitches in total. That is 2 stitches more than in row 14 and that is not because of the shell stitches, but because of the increases, one at the beginning and one at the end of the row. Row 16, chain 2 and turn your work. Work 2 double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Create a front pose double crochet stitch around the next one. This stitch is almost identical to the double crochet stitch, the only difference is that the normal double crochet stitch is made into the stitch from the row below, into two loops on the top of the stitch and front pose double crochet stitch is made around the stitch from the row below with the hook coming from the front to the back and around the stitch to the front again. Now skip 2 stitches and create a shell stitch into the next one, so 2 double crochet stitches, 1 chain and 2 double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Skip 2 stitches and create one front pose double crochet stitch around the next one. Skip 2 stitches again and create a shell stitch into the next stitch. Skip 2 stitches one last time and create one front pose double crochet stitch around the stitch below. And finish the row with 2 double crochet stitches made into the same stitch.
At the end of the row, you should have 17 stitches in total. Row 17, chain 2 and turn your work. Work 2 double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Work one double crochet into the next one. Work one back pose double crochet into the next one. This one is very similar to the front pose double crochet, just that you create a stitch around the stitch from the row below, but with the hook coming from the back to the front and then back again. Create a shell stitch into the chain 1 space from the shell stitch from the row below. Jump to the double crochet stitch from the row below and create back post double crochet stitch around that one. Jump to the shell stitch and create a new shell stitch into the chain 1 space from the shell stitch in the row below. Jump to the first double crochet stitch from the row below, previously front pose double crochet and create the back post around that one. Create one double crochet into the next one. And then finish the row with two double crochet stitches made into the very last stitch of the row. By the end you should have 19 stitches in total. Row 18, chain 2 and turn your work.
work 3 double crochet stitches into the same stitch Work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Work one front pose double crochet into the next one. Create a shell stitch into the chain 1 space from the shell stitch below. Jump to the double crochet stitch from the row below and create front pose double crochet around that one. Jump to the shell stitch and create a new shell stitch into the chain 1 space from the shell stitch below. Jump to the first double crochet stitch from the row below and create front pose double crochet stitch around it. Create one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then finish the row with three double crochet stitches made into the very last stitch of the row. By the end of the row you should have 23 stitches. Row 19, chain 2 and turn your work. Work 3 double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Work one double crochet into each of next four stitches. Work one back pose double crochet stitch around the next one. Create a shell stitch into the chain one space from the shell stitch below. Jump to the double crochet stitch from the row below and create back pose double crochet around that one. Jump to the shawl stitch and create a new shawl stitch into the chain 1 space from the shawl stitch below.
jump to the first double crochet stitch from the row below and create back post double crochet stitch around it. Create one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And then finish the row with 3 double crochet stitches made into the very last stitch of this row. By the end of this row you should have 27 stitches in total. Row 20. This is the last row on the front panel before we join the front and back panel together. Chain 2 and turn your work. Work 4 double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Work one double crochet into each of next six stitches. Now work one front bows double crochet stitch around the next one. Create a shell stitch into the chain one space from the stitch below. Jump to the double crochet stitch from the row below and create front bows double crochet around that one. Jump to the shell stitch and create a new shell stitch into the chain 1 space from the shell stitch below. Jump to the double crochet stitch from the row below and create front post double crochet around it. Create one double crochet into each of next six stitches. And then finish the row with 4 double crochet stitches made into the very last stitch of the row. By the end of the row you should have 33 stitches in total.
In the next step, we are going to join both ends of the panel, so the front and the back side of the romper together with a simple round of double crochet stitches and shells. From now on, we are not going to add or take away any stitches on the main part of the romper. We are going to start with round 21. Chain 1 and turn your work. Work 1 double crochet into each of the next 10 stitches. Work one back post double crochet stitch around the next one. Create a shell stitch into the chain one space from the row below. Create one back post double crochet stitch around the next double crochet stitch. Create a shell stitch into the chain one space from the row below. Create one back post double crochet stitch around the next double crochet stitch. Work one double crochet into each of the next 10 stitches. Now, this is a very important step that you should not skip. Take the back side of the romper, find the stitch marker and create your first double crochet into that marked stitch. Make sure you don't twist your work. Create 33 double crochet stitches on the back side of the romper, which includes the first stitch that we made, the one that was made into the marked stitch. Join the round with a slip stitch made into the very first stitch of the round.
At the end of this round, you should have 66 stitches in total. Round 22, chain 2 and turn your work. Skip the slip stitch from the round below and work one double crochet into each of next 43 stitches. Create a front pose double crochet around the next one. Create a shell stitch into the center of the chain 1 space from the row below. Create a front pose double crochet around the double crochet stitch from the round below. Create a shell stitch into the chain 1 space. Create a front pose double crochet around the double crochet from the round below. Now work one double crochet into each of next 10 stitches. Join the round with a slip stitch and at the end of this round you should have 66 stitches in total. Round 23, chain 2 and turn your work. Skip the slip stitch and work one double crochet into each of next 10 stitches.
work one back pose, double crochet around the next one. Continue with the shell stitch. Work one back pose, double crochet around the next one. Create a shell stitch into the chain one space from the round below. Work one back pose double crochet around the next one. Now work one double crochet into each of next 43 stitches. Join the round with a slip stitch and at the end of this round you should have 66 stitches in total. Now repeat rounds 22 and 23 4 more times. This is what we have so far, the main part of the romper is now complete and now we are going to continue with the ribbings. The ribbing around the chest first and then the ribbings around the openings for the legs. Let's start with our first ribbing, we are going to continue from where we finished our main part of the romper. We are going to be working in rounds, which means we are going to join each round with a slip stitch made into the very first stitch of that round. Round 1 is very simple, start with chain 1 and then turn your work. After that, work one half double crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around, which makes it one half double crochet stitch into each of the next 66 stitches.
At the end of this round, you should have 66 stitches in total. Round 2 Chain 1, then start repeating 1 front post, half double crochet stitch into each of next 2 stitches, and then again 1 back post, half double crochet into each of next 2. Repeat that 16 times in total, then finish the round with one front post half double crochet stitch into each of the last two stitches. Join the round with a slip stitch and at the end of this round you should have 66 stitches in total. Repeat round 2 one more time, work one front post half double crochet stitch into every front post half double crochet stitch from the row below and then work one back post half double crochet stitch into every back post half double crochet stitch from the row below. Finish the round with 66 stitches in total. Cut the yarn and fasten off. Let's continue with the ribbing for the leg opening. We are going to work in rounds and we will end each round with a slip stitch made into the first stitch of that round. Take the hook and yarn, insert the hook into the stitch somewhere around the leg opening. I will use the stitch right at the top of the opening in round 21. That is the round where we joined the front and back part of the romper together. The first round is very simple. Attach the yarn with one chain and then work single crochet stitches evenly around the opening. I usually make one stitch into every half double crochet stitch 
and two stitches on different places into every double crochet stitch and that should give you around 34 stitches for this round. As always, join the round with a slip stitch. Finish the round with around 34 stitches in total. We are now in round 2. Chain 1, then start repeating. 2 back post half double crochet stitches and then 2 front post half double crochet stitches, each around its own stitch. Repeat that 8 times in total. Finish the round with two back post half double crochet stitches. Create a slip stitch made into the first stitch of this round. Round 3 is exactly the same as round 2. Just work one back post half double crochet stitch into every back post half double crochet stitch from the round below and one front post half double crochet stitch into every front post half double crochet stitch from the round below. Finish the round with a slip stitch. Cut the yarn, fasten off and hide the yarn tail between the stitches. Repeat the same steps and follow the same pattern for the other leg opening. This is now our final step of this tutorial. We are going to add two straps and a pair of buttons. Take 4 stitch markers, you can use plastic ones as I do here or simply use yarn scraps in a contrasting color to mark the stitches that we are going to use for the straps. Fold the romper in half, as you can see here, and place the romper on the flat surface. Mark the stitch that is in the center with a stitch marker. Now use two stitch markers and mark six stitches. Three stitches on the right and three stitches on the left from the stitch marker, but make sure you include the stitch marker into those six stitches. Take two stitch markers again and mark the fifth stitch on the right from the right stitch marker and the fifth stitch on the left from the left stitch marker. Once you have that, place the hook into one of the stitches marked with a stitch marker, attach the yarn with one chain and start crocheting towards the nearest stitch marker. Start your row in the same stitch as you've made the attaching chain. Row 1. Work one half double crochet into each stitch across. 
that is one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Once you have that, repeat row 1 15 more times. Now we are going to create a buttonhole. For that, create 5 chains. Then turn your work. Skip the first 4 stitches and attach the chain in the 5th stitch with a simple slip stitch. Turn your work again, create one chain, now work 10 single crochet stitches around that chain made of 5 chains, and once you have that, create a slip stitch into the side of the row 16, cut the yarn, fasten off and hide the yarn tails between the stitches. Now repeat all these steps for the second strap. The very last step are buttons. Attach two buttons to the front side of the romper. I usually attach the buttons on the ribbing section of the romper, preferably not aligned with the straps, usually a little bit towards the armpits. And please make sure the buttons are securely attached to the romper, that's very important. And here you have it, a beautiful crochet baby romper, perfect for baby shower gifts, and or for an everyday outfit. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you won't miss any of my future videos or crochet projects. If you share your work on Instagram, please use hashtag Kroby patterns so I can see your work and give it a big heart. Have a lovely day, stay safe and well, and as always, happy crocheting! See you guys soon, bye!